All right, we're back. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the Mindshift 22 liter uh, rotation backpack. Um, Y'all, I think I may have just found my new favorite backpack all time. Um, it's just, this bag is super cool. It's small, it's packable, you can fit stuff in it. If you need a day pack for backpack, for hiking and stuff like that, I don't think there's a better option for quick access to your camera gear. If you don't, if you're the type of person like me who doesn't need to carry around a ton of camera gear, it's perfect. Um, for other smaller kind of backpacking style backpacks, it has a similar carry size in terms of the amount of gear you can bring. Um, I like to usually bring some camera gear plus some other gear, whether it's jackets, hats, snacks, whatever else. Um, this bag is kind of perfect. And I'm going to compare this bag to probably its most uh, close competitor in my com in my opinion the low pro photo sport um i have the older 300 but it's pretty similar to the newer 250 or 350 in my opinion in terms of um the usability i will say that the 350 and 250 offer some different things that are also kind of cool but I feel like this mind shift rotation lineup of backpacks, there's really nothing out there that's better in terms of quick access to your gear. You don't have to take your bag off of you. You don't have to set it down. You don't have to spin it around. Well, you do have to spin it around, but you don't have to like take any other straps off. You just open a little hatch door and you, you swing your little marsupial pouch as my wife calls it around to your front access your bag and you're good to go. So jumping right in, here it is. The Mindshift uh, 22 liter bag. Um, I'll start with some of the features starting from the top. You have very similar to the other Mindshift 34 liter, you have a top access pocket here. Um, you don't have much in terms of front pouch carryability. Um, there is no front pocket, which was almost a deal breaker for me. However, I am crafty and thrifty and whatnot. And I think that I have a plan to uh, create a front pocket for this out of some ripstop style fabric and maybe some ropes and kind of like lace them in here and make a front pouch. If I, if I do that, I'll make another video at another time. Um, so another cool thing about this style backpack is that the straps are adjustable for your size. See how this is kind of like pulled up. You can adjust these straps up and down depending on how tall or short you are. So you can really get a good fitment on this, which is not common in camera backpacks. That's common in backpacking bags. You can fit the straps to different body styles and heights, but that's always been a problem for me with camera bags is that when you put the straps on, the hip belts are supposed to be on your hips. And a lot of times for me, I'm about 6'1". Uh, the hip belt pa uh, pad is above my hips. So it's like at my gut or my waist. So it's not really carrying the weight where it's supposed to. With this, I can lower those straps down and get it to where I need it to be. Um, so the top, the top, pa uh, the top, package the top pouch here is large it's big it's big enough you can fit jackets and here are all the straps you can fit jacket straps pouch whatever jacket straps you can fit <laughs> I'm gonna start that over looking at the uh, top pouch here it's large I mean I did fit a 13 inch laptop in there sideways um, like this way but it's like just fits i would not recommend that for long-term usage um if you're just going like quick quickly from one place to another that would work but um the corners of the laptop kind of uh 
press against the outer part of the bag. So if you like knock something just right, you could possibly damage your laptop, but it does fit. It fits and you know, maybe if you had like a neoprene sleeve that was real slim and fitted, you could probably squeeze it into this. Um, it definitely fits in the 34 liter. Um, you could definitely fit it in there with a neoprene sleeve that would be padded and fit it. Um, so again, you lose some of the storage options that you have with the 34 liter, with the 22, but in terms of day pack usage, packing a lunch and a jacket and some hats and gloves or whatever you need into this top pouch is perfect. Even if you wanted to throw like an extra lens into here or whatever else, um, it's kind of a huge giant top pocket for stuff. And that's kind of what I like in a day pack. Um, it only has one side uh, pocket. It's small, it really only fits one water bottle, whereas with the 34 liter, you could fit a water bottle and like a monopod or like a selfie stick or a super tiny tripod. Um, so with this, if you wanted to bring a tripod, you would have to utilize this front access. Uh, there is a strap in here and a strap underneath where you would strap your tripod to the front of the bag. Um, so you would have to use that. If you plan on bringing a tripod, monopod, whatever, that's what you would have to do with this bag. Um, but other than that, like the straps, the hip belt, it's well-made, the zippers are great. It's water resistant right out of the bag. Um, I bought the rain cover for my 34 liter, but I did not buy it for this one because, you know, I never really use them for the other bags. And if it's rainy and I'm going out for a day trip, this is probably, not the bag I was going to bring anyway. And like, this is just going to be my bag for when I go out for quick trips, bike packing, uh, biking. Um, you know, if I'm going out and coming back same day, this is great. If I'm going out by myself, this is perfect. You can fit about the amount of stuff for like one person. Whereas if you're carrying stuff for multiple people, I would recommend getting the 34 liter. You just have way more carry room in there for other things. Um, so jumping into the marsupial pouch, you can berth it right here. Uh, you just pull it out. And I mean, that functionality is what makes these bags worth it. It's worth, they're more expensive than other bags, but it's worth it. Um, the quick access that you get with these bags is the shining light of them, you know? So... This even being a smaller size uh, marsupial pouch, if you will, um, you can still fit about the same amount of stuff, camera gear in this as you can in the larger size one. So this is the larger version from the 34 liter. You can see the difference in size. 34 liter, 22 liter. Can you tell the difference? Probably not. They're real similar in size. Here's a, here's a top view of them. So I will say in this bag, you can fit a camera on the side. Uh, I like to carry like an R6 with a, with a microphone. You can put that here with the microphone attached and fit a 70 to 200 RF lens on this side or a 24 to 70 would fit for sure. RF, EF, whatever. Um, but there is a good amount of carryability in here. With the larger size, you would be able to fit the same amount of gear, but I have this configured a little bit differently. Like I think you could just fit like other stuff, like snacks, quick access, like trail mix or whatever in there. Um, you know, whatever else you would want, batteries, headlamp, I don't know, whatever your heart desires, whatever you need to carry, filters, that kind of thing. Um, but again, for a day pack, for something where you're just going out and coming back, this is perfect. This is perfect. It's a perfect size. And I'm gonna show you in a minute, compared to the Low Pro Photo Sport, you can fit about the same amount of stuff in this that you can in that. And just for the size and usability of this, there's nothing else better, in my opinion. Um, so let me, let me put this back in here. It's super easy. It goes right back in and I'm sorry, I'm not doing like a whole lot on how to do this, but you can see there's a 
release and then a strap down here and you can pull it. Um, there's a lot more videos out there that go into depth on like how you do the whole swivel thing and, and whatever. Um, this, I just wanted to give you like kind of like a real world review of usage. Um, I'm taking a trip to Utah soon with my family and bought this and the 34 to kind of see size differences and just kind of was like, fell in love with this rotation lineup. Um, I just don't think that there's a better way to quickly access your gear than this. And to be honest, the fact that you can use that little, uh, marsupial pouch, if you will, as its own standalone pack, um, for me, for bike packing or, you know, quick outings, I think that I'm going to go with that over like, I have other smaller sling bags and stuff like that. I think I'm going to find myself using those more often than anything else. Um, so quick size comparison to the Photosport 300. Photosport 300. Here it is. It's real similar size to this bag. They're almost identical in size, carryability, everything else. But this bag is very strappy. Like it's got straps hanging off of it like everywhere. And I could probably tighten those up and whatever, but there's things about this that were annoying. Like if there's nowhere to put a laptop, you do have a large carry on carry uh, like area on the top, but it's awkward. The insert inside, like you have this gaping hole, right? But this goes all the way to the bottom and then it goes all the way to like the bottom bottom and it slides around and I've definitely lost lens caps and other small items down into that nook and you have to kind of like dig your hand in there. Um, it has like this back pocket here for a water bladder, which is cool but you have to unsnap these straps to get to it. Um, if you wanted to put a laptop in there, which I've done before, but it's kind of awkward to get in there. In terms of lightweight, this is an extremely lightweight pack, but there's not a whole lot of like form to it. Like it, like the back panel is very minimal. I would, I would call this a minimal backpack carry system. Um, in terms of what you can actually fit in here, this is more of like a traditional side access where you have your camera access on the side. Um, but again, it fits roughly about the same amount of stuff, if not a little bit less, like you could fit a camera, but you would be hard for us pressed to fit a camera plus a 7200 RF in here. This is more like a camera with like a decent, maybe a 24 to 70 and like a flash or like another smaller lens on the side. So I would say you're close to not being able to fit the same amount of carry. You can fit more stuff in the other one just with the way that it functions. And um, I just think I'm gonna be trying to find somebody who does want this bag and see if I can't sell it and get rid of it uh, because I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore. I think I'm going to be going to this and um i just think it's a more th better thought out design it is a little bit heavier but i don't think that that's a bad thing in terms of comfort and usability i think that over time this is just going to be a better bag for that same kind of like daytime quick adventure outing go out come back after a few hours this bag is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, so that'll do it for this review of the Mindshift Rotation 22 liter bag. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense if you're looking for a day pack style camera bag. Um, I would suggest it. Fully suggest if you need a camera bag, go with this one for sure. Love it. Deuces.